Hello and welcome back into Tommy's Dynamax Den. We have some news about two upcoming sets. New product, new cards and on top of that Ajura Navista. There's a lot to cover guys, so let's get into this. Okay guys, we're gonna start from Lost Abyss. Um, that set is coming out on 15th of July, so not long now in Japan. Um, and they released a few good cards from that set, so let's have a look at them. First one is Cramorant. I know it's not the most favorite in the community, um, but I think this card is actually going to be really good. It's probably worth to mention that every card that have this kind of um, aura on it with those three colors, pink, purple and blue, is going to be somehow related to the Lost Zone. So, as you see, we have ability Lost Supply, um, if you have four cards or more in your Lost Zone, ignore all energy in this Pokemon attack cost. And then we have Conniving Spit. This attack damage isn't affected by weakness. So I think it's actually quite good. The fact is that you're probably thinking, but yeah, why do I want to have cards in the Lost Zone? By the look of this set, the Lost Zone is going to be very important in it and there is, there is there is some cards that actually let you only attack when you have the cards in the Lost Zone. So, we have a Shepard um, coming back with that Tongue Slap and we have Bonnet with the ability Puppet Memorial. Once during your turn, you may choose a supporter card from your discard pile, reveal it and put it into your hand. If you do, put this Pokemon in the Lost Zone. So you're gonna get rid of the Banette, the Pokemon, but you're gonna get your supporter card back. And then discard all non-Pokemon cards attached to this Pokemon. So you, all of your energy or, or um, item cards are gonna go into the discard pile, not into the Lost Zone. And then you have an attack spooky shot for 50. We have comeback of Comfy with ability flower picking. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may look at the top two cards of your deck and put it one of them into your hand. Put the other card in the lost zone again, that lost zone. And then attack and um, spinning attack, which is 30. Not bad, but probably that flower picking might help you to get some cards into your play. Now, let's take a look at some of the supporter cards. We have a Mirage Gate. You may play this card only if you have seven cards or more in the Lost Zone. As I said, search your deck up to two basic energy of different types and attach them into your Pokemon in many ways you like. Then shuffle your deck. Quite a good card, I think it's going to be very very useful, especially with that Lost Zone. Um, and then we have Lost Sweeper, I think this will be particularly good card for um, people who will be using a Lost City that we'll take a look in a second. So, Lost Sweeper, put a, put a card from your hand in the Lost Zone in order to use this card. Choose either a Pokemon Tool card or Stadium card in play, yours or your opponent, and put them in the Lost Zone. There is a Lost City card that is a Stadium card. So, when a Pokemon is knocked out, put it in the Lost Zone instead of this card pile. So, you're gonna lose your card anyway if this card is in play. So it's better to use Lost Sweeper to get rid of the Lost City so you're not gonna lose your Pokemon when it's gonna be defeated because we know that there is a lot of cards that can help you get in this Pokemon that you just lost from the discard pile into your deck. But there is, for now, no card released that will help you to get Pokemon back from the Lost Zone. I don't think that anything can come back from the Lost Zone, guys. And the last supporter card released is Coloresis Experient. Look at the top 5 cards of your deck, put 3 of them in your hand and put the remaining cards in the Lost Zone. Hmm. Alrighty guys, we also have some Pokemon, which the first one is Delphox V. And as amazing as it looks, I am asking where is my Aerodactyl this time? Hmm? When will we see Arcurium VMAX, please? But I'm not whining because this card is actually quite good. Let's check it out. Your opponent active Pokemon is now burned and confused. Hmm. And then we have a Magical Fire for 120. Put two energy cards attached to this Pokemon in the Lost Zone. This attack also does 120 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And I think that this is quite good, especially for 
people who are just starting the game quite easy quite good basic card to have in your deck especially when it's fire and we have our cherry on the top Giratina we start them with the Giratina V a gorgeous gorgeous girl I really really love this as you see there is an aura like I said really related to the lost zone quite a beautiful art shame it's not a normal form and then Vista could be the origin form but as we know from the previous set the um, Dialga and Palkia also been done that way they don't have the normal forms cards they straight away have their primal forms so Giratinavi have Abyss Seeker, look at the top 4 cards of your deck, put 2 of them in your hand and put the remaining cards in the Lost Zone and then we have um, Shred for 160, this attack damage isn't affected by any effect of your opponent active Pokemon. So that's quite good, you can attack with any problem and then we have gorgeous V-Star card, it's, it's an amazing um, design if it comes to V-Star, I'm very happy with it, let's see what it has so the lost impact attack for 280 put two energy attached to your pokemon in the lost zone and then we have v star power star requiem you may only use this attack if you have 10 cards or more in the lost zone here we go opponent's active pokemon is now knocked out so you basically kill another pokemon but you need to have this 10 cards in the lost zone so if you're using any of the previous cards that we mentioned i'm sure that you will be able to do this guys lost abyss is coming out on 15th of july so not long now and if you like to see people opening japanese packs i will definitely suggest you to check out poke Taj on youtube and on twitch check out brash gaming they're both amazing content creators just go for it why not and let's take a look at lost origins Lost Origin is going to come out on September the 9th. We finally have an official release of the art and no more leaks. They are really nice and crisp. Um, we have talked about all of that in the last video that I did on this topic. So go check it out if you want. So let's dive into this beautiful, beautiful art that we have. Here is our Hisuian Zoroark, a gorgeous enamorous. And I really want this to have a V Star or V Max card because this is such a fierce card. I really like this Pokemon. I think it's a very good design. I know, I know that not many people like it. Here we go. Our mascot of the set. I'm gorgeous. Giratina again. And she will hunt you. Those eyes. <laughs> I mean, this is creepy. This is really creepy. This is... I'm not sleeping tonight. Um, and we have our gorgeous shiny Gardevoir. That's going to be a radiant card in the set. But we also know from the last video um, that we're going to get a three brand new um, Radiant Pokemon. And I am hoping that, well, we obviously know that um, Gardevoir is one of them. And what are the next two? Nobody knows for now. Um, they probably will leak. So I will do a video on this. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're not going to miss anything. And let's go for it and check out at our lovely product. We have a booster box, as every um, good set have a booster box. We have those beautiful packs and blisters. And with those three pack blisters, they come some new promo cards. We have a Weavile with Pursuit Claw. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon for each damage counter on that Pokemon. And then we have a Claw Slash for 110 and a card that I think I'm quite excited from those promos. It's gorgeous Regigigas. We have attached basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon, which is really good um, attack, I think. And then we have double impact for four energy. Flip two coins. This attack does 120 damage for each head, which is quite good. It can be actually a good attacker for a, for a normal promo card, guys. So I am definitely gonna have a one deck build around this. We have a Elite Trainer box. This is a normal one. It's a gorgeous gold, red and black. Um, and I am not gonna lie, it gives me a lot of Freddy Krueger vibes. I saw a meme about it on Twitter and I absolutely loved it. And I'm stealing this idea to just say this in this video. As you know, we have eight packs in this and some additional goodies. We also have a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box. Um, which is not much of a difference. You have two more packs, a different sleeves, and um, little pin, and a gorgeous 
coin with that origin giratina and with our build and battle box pre-release box we're gonna have some gorgeous promos we have comfy machamp finion and Gengar and I'm quite excited for Machamp and Gengar to be honest I really really like them Machamp will probably be very useful in my Lucario deck um, and then we have this gorgeous Gengar who is really creepy if I need to be honest this art is really creepy um, it have an ability netherworld gate once during your turn if this Pokemon is in your discard pile You may put it into your bench if you do put three damage counter on this Pokemon So basically you can get it back to life guys And then we have screaming circle put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon Which sounds amazing. I'm not gonna read the other ones because they partially covered already. Let's move on we have a new product released, which is quite interesting because it's a little tiny ETB. It's called a booster bundle and it includes six booster packs. I don't know why we have in this products because only thing in this is six booster packs. Um, at least that's what it's for now say um, on the back expand your collection with this booster bundle co containing six booster packs from TCG Sword and Shield Lost Origin. There is no mention about any promos, any anything else that will be in this box. So I'm not really sure what's happening. We do have already enough products in America and Europe. Um, I think that uh, in Japan they have two, three certain products for certain set and that works very well for them. We have 10 or something like this. And it's quite interesting that they want to add another one. Why? Is the, is the pull rate in this going to be better than, than in the other boxes or something? Talking about new product, let's go and see a new Infernape V box, which is actually quite cool. They normally from £16 up to like £20 in UK and it looks quite nice. And this gorgeous box includes Infernape V, a Jumbo Infernape V and Empoleon. And we have four booster packs as normal on those. We have two Lost Origins, one Fusion Strike. And by what I see there, I think this is an Astral Radiance booster pack. So let me know what you think about this box in comments down below, what you think about the new products and the new sets that's coming out soon. If you're new, remember to subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and I will see you next time in Tommy's Dynamax then. Bye guys.